Well, not yet. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Live with Naz. Quarantining in Corona. And yes, we are quarantining again. And uh, let's see. I'm not getting anything on my computer. They're all there, all the print. I don't see any. Oh, here we go. It just went under my last uh, comment. All right, let's see who do we have here. Show number 93, ladies and gentlemen. 93, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's see, what family? Sarah, how are you? Welcome, Teresa. Teresa, Teresa, Michael. Michael Ramirez, how are you? Rita, Rita, good to see you. Let's see who else. Becky, Becky Attenberry, your package went today. Thank you so much. It was in the mail. It went to the post office. Uh, blessed to see you too, guys. Let's see who else. Matthew Dirk from Wisconsin. Hope you're doing great, brother. Uh, Bobby Miller, how you doing, Bobby? Betty Hardy, how are you? Uh, let's see who else. Uh, who else is joining us tonight? Let's see. Vincent Garza, how are you? It's always good to see you. David McLaughlin, Pastor David, how you doing? Pastor David from Texas. Yes. Joey Stilson, how are you, brother? Hope mom and dad are doing better. And tomorrow is an appointment for your wife. Or was it today? If it's today, let us know how it went. Lily Navas, Lily, 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 how are you? Good to see you, Lily. Who else do we have? Let's see. Man, it was... Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, just want to remind you... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is going on? What is going on with my... Oh, here we go. This is interesting. Okay, let's see who else is here. Shalom, my fit Gul Gulni. Nice to see you. First time. Let us know where you're at city and state just not a good monday without a little net yes yes it's not well, i'm glad we're i think we're in for a an, a while because um the governor of california today sent us back to quarantine at home to shelter in place again and shut all the businesses so we're gonna be in for a while but i gotta remind you guys this wednesday this coming wednesday there will not be a show after tomorrow, there will not be a show because I have a meeting in Vegas. I have a business meeting in Vegas, thinking about what we're going to do next year and with some uh, people. So I'm not going to be here on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, I'm not going to be here. Thursday and Friday, there will be a show with my co-host, John Riscala, will be running the show. So you guys got to help him. And come in and laugh with him as much as you laugh with me. No, it's not working good for me. It's just something just happened. It's just, uh, what do you call it? It says you need to ch log in. Okay, here we go. It's just me, I think, or everybody. You got logged out too. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, I just got logged out. Okay, Lily Nevis. What? Alan Goodwin, how are you? you should be good, though. Tim Fakhouri, thank you, Tim, for joining. We should be fine right now. I don't know what happened. I think something that it kicked us out and brought us back in. Hello, 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 guys. Uh, anyway, this Wednesday, I'm leaving to Vegas. Uh, I have a business meeting. So, Wednesday, there will not be a show because John has filming. Thursday and Friday, John will be doing this show. So please, don't just say, oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Just come back. He, he, he got stuff ready for you. You're going to laugh. You're going to be funny. So hang with him Thursday and Friday. And then I'll be back for the next week. So today and tomorrow we'll be together. Then Wednesday uh, off. Then John will take it. And then the next week will be the 100th anniversary. So we'll... We have, send me some ideas. What do you think we should be doing for the uh, 100th anniversary? Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow is podcast day at 2 p.m. on my uh, uh, fan page, Comedian Nazareth. My guest tomorrow is Sawyer McKenzie. 
Sawyer McKenzie is a youth pastor at Crossroads Church. It's a big church. He's a youth pastor. He's from Alabama. He's 23 years old. And we're going to talk about what high schoolers, if you have high schoolers or your grandkids who are high schoolers, or you just want to know what our high school age kids are thinking about the pandemic, about the, you know, about what's going on with the Black Lives Matter, about ever, anything we, we, you want to know. You can ask me questions and we'll answer them uh, with uh, Sawyer McKenzie. And he's going to be with me tomorrow, 2 p.m., Join us live on my fan page. Again, just quick announcements. Uh, tomorrow we'll be together, God willing. Wednesday, I'm leaving to Vegas for a few days for business meetings. And no, I don't gamble. No, Maha doesn't gamble. So <laughs> we don't. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do. If they quarantine us there or not, I have no idea. But that's where we're going to be. So John will be running the show Thursday and Friday. Wednesday, you guys do like I did last time on show number like 30 when I took a day off for my wife's for her, my wife's birthday and you guys were talking to each other. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's see. Brent, how are you? I will not be here on Thursday or Friday either. Headed on the road to do a tour. That's awesome, man. That's good news. That's good news. I'm really, today was a hard day when you see everything is back. In California, they're shutting it down. Too many candles to have a cake. <laughs> yes. Lori Hoagland, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. All righty. Uh, Jeannie Gonzalez, thank you for joining us, Jeannie. If it's your first time, let us know what city and state. Crystal, how are you? Let's see. Good. All right. Uh, Art and Beth, welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, okay. I don't have live shows for you yet. I did one Friday, and uh, it was for 50 people, and they <laughs> they thanked me. That's all they did, which is fine. It was good to be on stage. But anyway, last week I asked you the question, what phrases are not cool to say anymore during COVID? What phrases are not cool to say anymore during COVID? This is what you guys came up with. Be positive. Are you shy? Let me see your smile. Let's do a close-up. Those were the ones I came up with. Then you guys came up with, can I help you? <laughs> uh, can I sniff you like Joe Biden? I didn't write that one. Blow up the candles. Whisper into someone's ear. Do you mind if I sit in the middle seat? I'm not contagious. Got COVID? Can I eat inside? <laughs> Phrases you... It's not cool to say anymore during COVID. Come on over. Standing room only. Sold out. Let's hold hands for prayer. I forgot my mask. Billy up to the bar. I'm a Republican. <laughs> Cough it up. Let's shake hands. Can I have a hug? High five. <laughs> Can we meet for coffee? Can I have a sip of your water? Blue lives matter. Reach out and touch someone. Can I cut in line in front of you? I only have one item. Who was that masked man? <laughs> Let's go to the buffet. I'm heading to the town hall with the candidates. You look hot. Let's visit grandma and grandpa. Those are things you don't want to, you know, it's not cool to say. Randy, Zachary, and Andy and Monica, Zachary, welcome back. It's been a while. Rosetti, how are you? Victor Reynoso, thank you for joining us. I think it's the first time. So you let us know what city and state, if if you don't mind. Well, I'll tell you what happened this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday morning, my air condition just, boop, stopped working. It's completely stopped. And um, it was like 100-something degrees in Southern California. It's a hot weekend. Saturday and Sunday was in the hundreds. So I... You know, I know when I call my warranty company, they're going to take about a week to come in. So I took matters into my own hands. I spent hours and hours on YouTube. And I l learned everything I needed to do. From going to my air conditioning unit, taking it apart, putting a new, what do you call it, composite thing, something that you have to put. And then I went to Home Depot and also I changed my my thermostat monitor 
It didn't do anything. Then I went in the attic this morning. It was like 150 degrees in the attic and dark and scary. Never been in the attic before for that long. And I took the furnace out. I mean, not the whole thing apart. And I started doing all the wiring. Listen, guys. Two years ago, if you tell me a Phillips a screwdriver, I think that's a drink named after uh, the Queen's husband in London. If you say Phillips screwdriver, I have no clue. I am not handy whatsoever. But lately, because of the COVID, I've been learning. I fixed our jacuzzi. I fixed this. I'm fixing stuff. All right. So uh, it was so, so hot in our house. It was hot for two days. Really hot. Miserably hot. So, here's the first question. What do you do to cool off? What do you guys do to cool off? Let me know. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> Did people say you look hot when your AC went? Yep, that's what I wrote on my, uh, on my post today, about a few minutes ago. I said I don't want to be cocky, but I, I am so hot. Stan Simmons, welcome. Samuel Laredo, welcome back. It's been a while. Maha just joined us. We missed Maha last Friday, but she's with us, and she sweat for two days, too. Until I fixed it a few hours ago. I fixed it. Yes, I fixed it. I'm so proud of myself. I was dancing in the garage just for the joy of knowing I literally made it work after three days of working on it. Here you go. Jane Seesmar, welcome back, Brent. Uh, what do you do to cool off? Let's see. What does Brent say? Breathe. Oh, let's see. Breathe and roll in dirt. <laughs> okay. Stick your head in the freezer, but you'll get a cold front. Okay. I love you guys. You're so funny. Sit in front of a fan. Okay. God is good. Nazareth, that's great. Did it work? Yes, it worked. It finally worked. I'm so surprised because the stuff I did to it, I'm like, it's not going to work ever again. But because <laughs> I moved wires that I, I didn't know where they were, so I never put them back. But it still, it worked. Thanks for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Sarah. Oh, what do you do to cool off people? Let's see. What else? Uh, take the Nestia plunge. Uh, drink ice water. Okay, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Also, punch out customer service. <laughs> Go to Big Bear for a day. That's a good idea. I didn't think about it. Argue with the wife. <laughs> I drink hot coffee. You know, that's true, Crystal. When you drink something hot, it cools you off. Well, thank you, Alan. I appreciate it. I'm proud of myself for, you know, for doing this. Because I'm not handy whatsoever. Will Maha ever host for you, Naz? No. Maha will never be behind a camera, in front of a camera. Will never. She will never. She won't do it. I asked her. I said, why don't you join me? John made the idea of her joining us. No. Go to our morgue. <laughs> it is cold in there. That's right, Lily. Is that what you guys do when you're hot and you're working for the <laughs> funeral home? You go into the morgue, <laughs> into the re freezer. Go to the beach. Yes, it was too crowded and I was working on the uh, thing. Hug your air conditioning today. It was, Yes, I'm waiting for it to cool a little bit off. I'm, You know, I'm like in this doubt, like I think, is this really working? Is it really working or just being nice to me for a while? So I'm waiting. I'm holding off. But I celebrated already. I head to a public library. They're closed now, I think. Jump in the ocean, right? Water the lawn and myself. <laughs> That's a good one. Go for a swim. Yes, we've been doing this because we have a pool. Praise God. Uh, it was there with the house when we bought it. We didn't ask for it. It was there. And finally, we're enjoying uh, we're the benefit of. Go to the frozen food section and open the door and climb inside. Okay. Is this legal? Yeah. I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to get COVID from you guys. So I'm hiding here. Get a fan and put a pie pan of water. Huh. In front of it with ice cubes. Wait a minute. That's a good idea. Get a fan. Put a pie pan. What's a pie pan? Put wet washcloths in freezer. Then take it out and sit in front of fan. Oh. So put the... The cloth on the fan or on myself? 
Go to Forest Falls and play in the water, right? Bring my lawn chair to the grocery store and sit in the front. <laughs> okay. Uh, imitate Fonzie. <laughs> okay. Hold the garden hose over my head and turn the water on. She's, she's beautiful. Uh, play in the water. I'm going to wait till Nat says it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maha, you are beautiful inside and out. You would love to have you. Yes, she's gorgeous, but she won't be, you know. Great job, Nas. Can you fix my AC in my car? I think, you know what, Bobby? YouTube is amazing, amazing. YouTube, you can learn anything. You know what? My next project, I'm going to do brain surgery on someone after watching YouTube. <laughs> Go for a ride, stick my head out of the window while my wife drives. <laughs> <laughs> and stick my thing out, tongue out, right? I eat ice cream. That's a good idea. Get a kiss from my mother-in-law. No, thank you. <laughs> Go to the mall. I think they're closed now. They closed them again. I'm proud of you too, Naz, and just a little jealous because I'm not much of a... Me neither, Vincent. I mean, you could not believe it. I could not. I... I, I deliberately go to Oregon so I can have him put the gas in my... That's all I can do with my car. Just put gas in it. I don't know anything. But next thing happened, I'm, I'm going to fix it myself. Take a cold shower. I pray for uh, divine relief. Thank you, brother. Listen to Dr. Fauci's soothing voice. <laughs> You're, I'm getting to see the comments. Okay. <laughs> watch the dog. Hence, we watch me too. All right. That's a good idea. Bail. <laughs> Pie plate is the 10... The pie crust comes in. Oh, fill that with ice and water and put it in front of the fan. Okay. My pool is closed. I will over the fence to go swim. <laughs> go to Kevin Newsom Winery for a drink. <laughs> Empty fish bowl over my head. Ouch. <laughs> fill a kiddie pool with cold water and lunch in it. Take the ice bucket challenge. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Hopefully... Not me. Em embarrass my daughter and enjoy her icy stare. <laughs> I think Rancho Cucamonga Library is open. Oh, I didn't know that. Sit on some ice, but you might get butt hurt. <laughs> oh, eat ice cream. Okay, stick my tongue on. That's what I do sharing with. <laughs> Christina Kingsley, how are you? Thank you for joining us. We were praying for you, Christina. You know... Uh, I don't know if that's public. I think it's public information, is it? Yes, uh, Christina works with uh, people with the mental illnesses, and she was attacked last week. So, praise God, she's doing okay. She and her husband are good friends of mine. I love those people. So, I hope you're feeling better. You are in New Jersey right now, if I'm not mistaken. All right, head down to the creek. We're thinking like... What do you do to cool off? Because my air condition was off for two days, two and a half days. Watch videos of penguins in the Antarctica. <laughs> yes. Go swimming. My neighbors hates it because I use their pool when they're not there. <laughs> you learn do it yourself. Brain surgery from YouTube to operate on yourself. Think about Tom Hanks knocking a bad tooth out by himself in Castaway. Oh, okay. I. You know what? I've never seen Castaway. I should. Yeah, I should watch it. The air will turn cold, rubbing alcohol on the back of your neck. Huh, that's a good idea. I've been putting this sanitizer. Speaking of sanitizer, we need to sanitize people. Ooh, it's hot. Let's sanitize. I'm going to change the question on you. Don't make it funny. John, we're going to bad names, right? Huh? We're going to bad names for air conditioning and heating. All right. Here we go. Live in here in San Francisco where it's foggy in the 50s. That's right. Walk around the house in the... No, no thank you. Put cold water on washcloths and put on my head. Remember, I have my mom and three kids in the house. Drop ice cubes. Now your shirt. <laughs> uh, oh, down your shirt. Oh, that's a good... How was Ella? You know what? I did not check on Ella. I will check and let you guys know tomorrow. But, um, yeah. Uh... Let's see. If you go to Tim Roberts on Facebook, Tim Roberts, that's her dad, and they put updates. Uh, join Crystal in Canada in the winter, right? Go to the grocery store and say you're selecting the right bag of ice and climbing ice refrigerator. Okay, I will. 
to Governor Newsom <laughs> Pump Jack. <laughs> Kido Olson, welcome. Oh, thank you, Christine. Go to Lake Arrowhead, right? Time to send. We yeah. Let's see, Sarah. We will stay six feet away. <laughs> that way, Brent. Turn fan on in the cool bath. Okay, that's the good. These are good idea. Rafting, canoeing, and learning, and spend more time in the water than in the boat. Yes, but yeah. You know what? I John, we don't know that the rest of the country is still open. After all the work, you don't notice how hot it is. Have a mini fan where you put water in it and spray yourself. Oh, Dr. Feroz Medbuck, thank you for joining us. Here's the question, guys. Here's the new question. Complete the, uh, oh, give me bad names for an air conditioning and heating company. Give me bad names for an air conditioning and heating company. Because I'm mad at them because they always take like a week before they show up and you're dead by then. So, What's a bad name for an air conditioning and heating company? Put some peppermint oil on the back of your neck. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, put cold blue ice packs all over. That will cool you off. Move to the Arctic or Antarctica. That's a good idea. Dr. Sari Lada, join us. Thank you for joining us, Sari. Hey, my, I'm feeling you. <laughs> all right, Christina, we love you too, Ned. I'm better. Jason's having a brain procedure in the morning for 9-11 issues. And could use prayer. Sounds like you need cool air out there. Yes, we'll keep him in prayer. We'll remember to pray at the end of our show tonight. We always ask for prayer. So we will pray for Jason. Turn off the news so I don't get heated up. <laughs> go to Lake Havasu and go play in the water. That's right. I think think cool. Like in the movie, Stand and Deliver. <laughs> Never works when you want it to. Nez homeless and heating. <laughs> okay, give me some bad names for an air conditioning and heating company. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Never works when you want it to. Uh, Nez is homeless and heating. <laughs> okay, crossed wires. <laughs> <laughs> Slip and slide with water. Oh yeah, that would be to cool off. COVID air. <laughs> we burn you up. <laughs> cool fools, I love that. If it's not broke, don't fix it, company. <laughs> Good one, Amy. Hellfire AC. <laughs> Our air. Cold stairs. <laughs> That's funny. Hot shots, cool fools. That's funny. Hack, hot air conditioning. <laughs> Brian O'Neill, thank you for joining us. Brian from KSGN Morning personality the question is right now since my air condition was off for three two and a half days give me some bad names for our air conditioning and heating company hot as hell ac repair <laughs> thank you pastor david never covered by insurance heating company that's right because the first thing they come we go oh that's not covered we never arrive when we're supposed to <laughs> okay hot air cold stairs <laughs> sparky's hot wire company <laughs> Hot air mother-in-law's <laughs> AC. Oh, that's funny. Ah, oh, hot air conditioning. <laughs> Short circuit <laughs> service center. Ice cube heating company. <laughs> Frozen heating and AC. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> the hot air company where we only blow lies, not heat. We short circuit your AC. Let's see. Wuhan Inc. <laughs> Hell's Hot Shot AC Company. <laughs> Trip Circuit Heating and Air Company. Run Up Your Bill Company. <laughs> Too Hot to Handle AC. <laughs> right. YouTube. <laughs> we'll be back next week. <laughs> it's back. Repair. <laughs> check First AC Company. <laughs> yes. They want their check first. You're right. Uh, Lake of Fire <laughs> AC and Furnace Company. <laughs> Newsom Air Dealers. That's funny. We'll arrive the moment you leave. <laughs> F Hack Fauci's Hot Air Company. Pelosi's. <laughs> if if you hot, if you're hot, wear hot air conditioning. If you're hot, wear hot air conditioning. Full blast. When pigs fly. <laughs> the when pigs fly. That's funny. David and Crystal. Same moment. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Desert heat, air conditioning, broken fans are us. 
you might as well fix it. <laughs> That's a feeling, Sarah. That's always, whenever we call those, you know, contractors for things, it's always like the thing, you might as well fix it yourself. Oh, man. Guaranteed to catch fire. <laughs> it worked a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It will stop when we leave. That's a good name too. It will stop. We'll break back down. Break back down mountain. <laughs> Junkyard AC. Hot or not air. Oh, the three stooges air conditioning. <laughs> Mask over AC. <laughs> Open windows are <laughs> circular. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're gonna end up with. That's gonna be your advice. Just open the windows, okay? That will work. Dante's Inferno. We'll get to the bottom of your infernal issue. Hot nights in the. <laughs> That's a good name for a company. Hot nights in the city. You cool, warm yourself. Quits the moment we fix it, right? AC's Hell's Kitchen repairs. Ah, oh, service fee because we are not free, AC. Ah, <laughs> oh, busted air because if it ain't broken when you when get there, it will not be when we leave. Right. M menopausal hot flash. <laughs> air and heating. That's a good one. Hot in the new cool. Hot is a new cool air conditioning company, right. Starts working as soon as we show up. That's true. UUHS, unlicensed, unbounded HVAC hackers. <laughs> air and not fair. That's funny. Sanford and Sons Air Conditioning Company, unlicensed. All right. Hat Flashes Heating Company. <laughs> HVAC hot vents aren't cooling. It's broken, no joking. <laughs> Overcharged AC. Oh, man. We're melting. <laughs> That's funny. Chaz, capital E. <laughs> Good one, Art. Secondhand cooling. <laughs> Pep Boys, Manny Mo, and Jack's air conditioning repair. That's good. John, look what I did. The global warming workshop. <laughs> now it's really broken AC. Underpowered AC. That's funny. Alrighty. YouTube taught us AC repair. <laughs> oh, hearty AC service. Self-generating heating and air. You have to bicycle to generate AC. <laughs> Just get a bigger hammer. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi AC always full of, full of hot air. How hot is hot? <laughs> ah, how hot is hot air conditioning? Let's see. We try our best heating and air. Chop, chop it down, air conditioning company. Uh. Flaming AC. Kick it AC repair. <laughs> Cold shoulder repair. <laughs> there was a point where I really kicked it like a little me thing. I was like, I'm going to kick it. That's it. Cold shoulder repair. <laughs> That's fine. And guaranteed air and heating. Shirtless men heating. If it wasn't hot enough, it is now. <laughs> if it's broke, we don't fix it. AC repair. <laughs> Government HVAC repair company will send a full crew, including the guy who's watching, the guy who's watching, the guy who spends four hours to replace the fuse. That's right. Sanford and Son junk repair air service. Just buy... <laughs> What a good name for a company. Just buy a new one. Don't bother us. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> 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 
that should be their like song when you call and they put you on hold burn baby burn time to sanitize yes we do thank you bobby all right sanitize and share people remember we still share show number 93 we have thousands and thousands of people that watch the show so far 93 shows uh, if you average between 500 to about 1500 people viewing so do the math thank you so much and no don't do the math just share <laughs> two starving men will try to fix your AC and furnace intermittent AC and heat <laughs> Obama air you blow me away <laughs> <laughs> you blow me away, AC. Nazar's first time repair company. That, you know what? This is funny because I thought for a while, like, hey, I can do this. If next time a friend of mine is having a problem with their AC, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot at it because I know now nine different things that can. You know what I did is started to eliminate what what could go wrong. So I've looked at one thing. Okay, it's not the breaker. I looked at some fuses. Not that. And I went back and forth to Home Depot. All right, and sanitize. No social distancing, <laughs> heating, and air. All righty. Democratic service. IHA, ineffective <laughs> heating and air. Con Air. <laughs> that sounds like an airline. Con Air. <laughs> Good one, Joey. Delayed service guaranteed. Imagine Lucy and Ethel fix your. <laughs> We destroy the ozone <laughs> AC repair company. <laughs> Blow it up AC. Beyond re <laughs> beyond repair. That's funny. Burke's bad breath air service. Christine Reeves. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. The question is, and because we had some, uh, my air condition broke for the weekend and then fixed it today. So, Bad names for an air conditioning and heating company. YouTube specialist. <laughs> Some like it hot. We prefer it to rot. <laughs> Good one. The Lucy Ball Repair Company. Just watch YouTube instead. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Ice and Democrat. <laughs> Tim, we love everybody on this show. We don't care if they're Democrats, Republicans, Christian, non-Christian. Everybody's welcome on the show. You all have a good night already. Brent, are you going into the neighbor's pool? Well, hope you're doing good. I hope Audra's doing fine. I'm glad you uh, you have shows coming up. That's awesome. YouTube, do it yourself. HVAC repair. You provide the tools. <laughs> right. Cat on a hot dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Mass men heating and air. You get your AC and furnace fixed, but you also get robbed. <laughs> Sleepy Joe AC Company. Fix it yourself, air company. All right. Cool. That's a good name. Cool. K O O L. Cool, Tim. Oh, that's the name of the company? Or the. <laughs> All right, the three blind mice company will find the unit at some point. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are funny. Let's see. Ice cube and fan air conditioning. Naz, your happy hearted fix it man. Naz is your happy hearted fix. Yes, I'm gonna. I know how to fix uh, an air condition now. Okay, let's see. All right, it's time for the Guinness Book of World Record, ladies and gentlemen. The Guinness Book of World Record. And guess what it's going to be about? Of course, heating. All righty. Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Where are you? Here you go. All right. Iced Stolen Goods AC Cup. <laughs> Congressional hot air, AC repair and bad lawmaking. That's good. Ice, ice, baby. Repair by Braille. 
<laughs> You're on tonight, Sarah. This is awesome. You'll call us back again. <laughs> Lani, Lani, welcome. And Michael Rojas, welcome back. Teresa, nine, already. Junkyard AC and furnace repair. Okay, you guys are coming up with the number. Uh, all right, we've been excited your call. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a city called... Furnace Creek. There's a city in California called Furnace Creek. It's in Death Valley, California. And in July 10th, 1913, they broke the world record for the hottest day. What was the temperature in Fahrenheit? What was the temperature? It wasn't one million. It wasn't one mile. It wasn't uh, 666. So you guys do the math and give me the numbers. Let's see. What was the temperature in Fahrenheit? Moody servers. Hello, I'm in Gustine, California. <laughs> oh, come on, Lani, we know. You break it, we break it more. You're hot, I'm not. The wires <laughs> scare them. It's always a condenser repair. <laughs> 130,000, that's that's like hell, people. 130. Nazareth, if our AC goes out, we'll get you to... F yes, I will. <laughs> Home Depot and AC repairs man's playground. Let's see. Hello, Michael Rojas. Baptized on fire and, bra and brimstone. Fire and brimstone company. If it wasn't broke before, it is now. Let's see. 1 to 200. That doesn't work. The question was chilling. <laughs> That's funny. 127 degrees. 193. 135. 127 for Lily. Uh, let's see. 150. Death from 112 degrees. <laughs> 135 for Rita, 126, 110, 166 for Crystal. Weird smell, <laughs> easy repair. 135%. It's Fahrenheit, Bobby. 195, 130, 200, 201, 128. By the way, California means hot furnace. 216, 130, 190. I'm working out of town. Oh, good. 148. One, good job, Lonnie. Hope you're doing good, man. 191. Lily Nava said 124. Sarah 192, 193. Oh, Bobby Miller in Rialto. 250 for Betty. Sarah 150. L Lily 131. Crystal 135. Uh, Lily 129. Sarah 194. Sarah 195. Christine 224. Tim 115. 160 for Sarah. Crossing wires AC repair. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Death Valley AC Repair, 127, 135 for Bobby, 125 for Lily, 124 for Christine, 126 for uh, Lily, 123 for Christine, um, let's see, 132 for Lily, uh, Burning Man Heating Repair, Dead to the Bones Repair, 167, 147, 134 for Rita. 146 uh, for Sarah, 145 for Sarah, smelly eggs, air conditioning, 187 for Sarah, 186, 138 for Lily, 185 for Sarah, 122 for Christine, the Living Dead Daisy <laughs> Company. All right, let's see. Any more guesses? 129 for Sarah, 130 for Sarah. ACDC repair, we play music but do nothing else. 132 for Sarah. Intern fire furnace and AC re art. Crystal said 134. Sarah said 134. 135 for Sarah, 123. Sarah said <laughs> <come> on. <laughs> 137. All right, I'm going to give you the winning number. The winning number. All right, stop commenting on the numbers because we're going to read the number. Let's see. 140, 158, 122, 123, 124. The winning is 134.1 Fahrenheit. 134.1. We have three winners. I think we have three winners. The first one is Rita. Rita was the first one to come up with that number. Then it was also Sarah got 134. 
and also the third person who got 134 was crystal so we got three winners we're gonna divide this among the three of you let's see one for Rita oh it broke sorry it's the heat one for Sarah since we're gonna be quarantining I don't know for how long and no vaccine um, this is what you guys are gonna start getting one each and half one for crystal because she's Canadian and she only gets the exchange rate <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> anyway when I see you guys I think um, crystal gets uh, probably five of these and then Sarah of course get five or six of these and S uh, Rita I don't know how many this is your second time I think so anyway this is for you guys are so funny let's see what do we got let's see what do we got oh okay here we go here we go all right i got all the way down to uh amy four winners who's the fourth one who's the fourth one uh Lele, lani must be the dollar three tp <laughs> i said 35 135 amy yes it was 134.1 so whoever said 134 got the answer the the correct under three people said 134 if you're the fourth one speak now or forever hold your peace okay, let's see that's right that is right sarah said 34 crystal said 134 all righty okay here we go what time is it 9 12 we have one more question one more question and let's okay the next question is uh, complete this sentence complete this sentence it was so hot blank it was so hot blank I used to do a joke about that and say it was so hot Satan came and repented it was so hot they baptized you in your own sweat it was so hot my dog looked at the cat and said not today it was so hot the youth in our neighborhood snorted free on. It was so ho I don't know. I put a lot. So give me. How hot was it? It was so hot. How hot was it? Hot and cold. Scrambling eggs. AC repair. It was so hot. Don't need TP air conditioning. Let's see. Free on us. Not arm and leg repairs. <laughs> if it. I'm not taking it if the TP is used. No. <laughs> Exchange rate. Right. Third. Oh, good. Three of you. Love, I will turn my wins for one and use autograph square. Okay. Thank you so much. Duct tape, AC, and heat. <laughs> Let's see. What do you got? Come on. It was so hot. How hot was it? It was so hot, I learned how to fix my air conditioning by myself. That's really hot. Hole in the wall, AC. In and out, AC repair. It was so hot that even... Uh, okay, it was so hot that even Satan refused to say egg jokes. <laughs> I scrambled eggs in my hands. That's hot. That's hot. It was so hot, I fried an egg on the sidewalk. It was so hot, I fried eggs on the road. <laughs> eggs would scramble on the hood of my truck. Uh, let's see. The wax museum closed down. <laughs> Someone once said it was so hot, I saw two trees fighting over a dog. Right. I know who I know who did that. Uh, shoot. I think it was Stephen Wright. My eyelashes came off. <laughs> the volcanoes looked cold. It was so hot, I caught on fire. <laughs> Okay, it was so hot, I cooked my dinner on the air conditioner. <laughs> it was so hot, my wife's cold shoulder was lukewarm. <laughs> it was so hot, I tried jumping into an empty pool. Wow, that's hot. I don't need a fire to boil water. Man, my, my attic today was really, really hot. I normally don't sweat, but I was like pouring. Like and I was proud of myself. I'm like, man, comedy is easy. Some people have to do this every day, twice a day. They go to different homes. Not the guys that are coming to fix mine. They just spend the whole day. It was so hot. 
you know, if uh, it was so hot, I cooked outside of the on the curb, <laughs> right? It was so hot, I couldn't walk on the road barefoot. Yes, so hot, my words melted in my mouth. It was so hot, my turf <laughs> melted. It was so hot, Jehovah's Witnesses started telemarketing. <laughs> Good one. It was so hot, Madam Tussaud Wax Museum melted. I lost 20 pounds just like that. Okay, the chicken crossed the road fried. <laughs> Good one. It was so hot, mother-in-law's makeup melted. Now I know what my wife will look like in 20 years, right? I was so hot, I was dehyd I'm was i dehydrated. It was so hot that my wife's just look cool. Okay, Timmy. Tires were melting. It was so hot. Our baby girl was born five months early. <laughs> it was. How did the? How did did she go? To, did your wife go to the, to the doctor today or tomorrow? It was so hot that the house jumped into the ocean. Ben always joined us. Welcome, Ben. The question is complete this sentence. It was so hot. Blank. Time to sanitize, yes, 9.15, thank you. Thank you, Teresa, I love Teresa, I can count on Teresa. Every 15 minutes, you sanitize and share. Sanitize and share. Again, this weekend, we lived without an air condition. I finally fixed it today, so the question is, complete this sentence, it was so hot, blank. My soul's melted, uh-oh, wait a minute. Hint, hint, did you find out? If did you find out the gender? I baked the cake outside. It was so hot I ate the the whole box of <laughs> Klondike bars, right? Oh my god, Joey. It's a girl. Yeah, Naz, you missed it. He said girl, yes. Born what? Five months early? What? Wait a minute, Joey. It was so hot our baby girl was born five months early. Are you serious about the being born five months early? Or because it was so hot? I need to know. Congratulations, we were praying. We're praying for a girl. It was today. Okay, let's see. So hot, my my bald spot declared itself a disaster. <laughs> Did you hear that one, John? It was... It was so hot I had to spin out. The bottle of sanitizer exploded in my hand. Right, it has alcohol. Read my comment. Maha, what did my beloved wife say? It was so hot that I saw Shadrach Meshach <laughs> That's a good one, baby. That was a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's funny. Gerd, yes. Oh, Bobby Miller, it was so hot the birds jumped out of the bird bath. <laughs> Girls rule. Girl rules. It was so hot my car went airborne. No, he is saying it's a girl. It is a girl, but baby girl, Audrey Rose, due November 28th. So she didn't come out yet because it's hot. Praise God. Congratulations. We'll continue to pray for a, for. A, Perfect, healthy baby and healthy delivery for mom. And Audrey Rose is going to be the baby of our show. Because that's... She wasn't... Con well, it's 93 days now. <laughs> that's awesome. Congratulations. See, prayer works. The chickens were laying hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> the M&Ms melted in my hands. It's so hot, I bought a loaf of bread. And before I got home, it was toast. <laughs> Good. My face left dry. <laughs> oh, Christine Reeves, read my comment. Let's see. Where's your comment, Christine? I'm I'm going through them. Da, 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 da. Christine, where are you? Christine, 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 Christine. There is Christine, Beth, Joey, Sarah, Timmy, Lily, Crystal, Sarita, Sarah, Ben. Where is it? Where is it? I can only go. S Christine, it was so hot the pool was boiling. Right. That's good. Let's see, let's see, Christina, my, <laughs> Satan was trying to get his AC fixed. <laughs> hey, that's, oh yeah, of course. Uh, that's funny. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's 
Now, finally, a girl. If the three boys, yes, yo, she's gonna be spoiled. It was so hot. Let's see. It's real. It was so hot, my pantyhose got hosed. <laughs> uh, it was just before quarantine. Oh, Satan. Uh, <laughs> not quite a COVID baby. Okay. It was so hot, my butter melted in my toast. The hamburger meat turned into jerky. <laughs> it was so hot that I touched the unplugged oven and it baked the cake. <laughs> his toupee melted to his bald head. All right, let's see what time. Okay, we're doing good. Come on, keep it coming, guys. You guys are funny. Complete the sentence. It was so hot. Blank. How hot was it? The corn was exploding popcorn. Oh, man. It was so hot, I didn't even have to turn the oven on. Let's see. John, come on. John, jump in. How hot was it? You don't have a mic. I baked the cake and didn't have to turn the oven on. Read mine. Okay, guys. I can only go sometimes. Let's see. Uh, Amy, it was so hot, you can't have ice water in hell. <laughs> okay, let's see the hamburger. Okay, I'm catching up. All my food turned into that dehydrated space food. <laughs> okay, my broom and witch's hat melted. <laughs> it was so hot, I felt the heat on my head. Read my. Okay, let's see. John, how hot was it? You lived it. Okay. He's saving his jokes for Thursday and Friday. Remember, people. Remember, th tomorrow will be on, God willing. Yes. Wednesday we're off because I'm going to Vegas for a meeting, business meeting. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will not be here. But John is taking over Thursday and Friday shows. So only Wednesday will be off. After so many days, 93 shows, we only took one day off uh, that wasn't, weren't supposed to. But this Wednesday, tomorrow will be here. Wednesday, I'm off. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday, John will be hosting the show. And I'll be back with you guys for next weekend. I'm going to be in Vegas for three days for business meetings. So that's about it. Uh, so let's continue with because right now it's time for prayer requests but let me read your thing I am so hot that I didn't need a mating call I just walked outside oh wait did I say I am or <laughs> that's funny it was so hot in my swamp cooler blue flames it was so hot don't have brain cells anymore right all my okay let's see it was so hot the corn was exploding Frosty skipped the liquid firm three and went straight to steam. <laughs> it was so hot the ice burned blue. <laughs> John, tell us at least one joke. Well, he, his brain right now is fried because of the whole thing. And he's saving all the good stuff. It's going to be great shows Thursday and Friday, guys. I might be able to watch. It was so hot I have coronavirus now. I need a test. <laughs> good one, Amy. That's a good one. Elsa from Frozen turned into sprinkler. <laughs> it was so hot the pig squeaked. It was so hot that my hot tub turned itself off. <laughs> what day is show 100? Okay, let's do the math. The pig turned into pig. Show 100 will be, okay, let's see. Tomorrow will be 94. Then we're going to step Wednesday. Thursday will be 95. Friday will be 96. Monday, God willing, will be 97. Tuesday, 98. Wednesday 99 next Thursday not this coming Thursday the next Thursday will be show 100 so I think next Wednesday no it will be next is it pick turn let me th while you're making doing the math if you have any prayer request let's do it praise report of course we have praise report for Joey we have prayer request for Christine and Jason Kingsley we have prayer request for Ella. I'll get the uh, update on that three-year-old with the, with the, what do you call it, leukemia. 
prayer request. Pray for California. Pray for our country. You know, the numbers are going up and people are like, I don't know. Is this real? Is this what are they trying to do? I don't know what's going on. But all I know, we need to pray. Pray for people uh, who are non-essentials. Pray for business owners. Pray for people who, you know, uh, who need, uh, they need work. So we need to pray for that. Are you guys driving to Las Vegas? No, we're flying. I'm not driving in the heat. July 23rd, I think for sure. July 23rd, what day would that be? Remember, we're skipping the Wednesday. We're skipping this Wednesday. That's why. Pray that my mom's senior care doesn't close down for visitors again. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Uh, it was so hot going to a farm and going to a full-blown barbecue. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a cool. My birthday is Wednesday. Is show 99. Right. Yes, guy. Uh, Timothy, peaceful week and work shift. My coworkers and their families and my boss, Ford Cole, and his wife. Andrea Cole and their continued health and vision restoration and their families and business. Yes, we'll pray for that. My brother and sister and their families and businesses. My issues. Yes, we'll be praying for all that. Marilyn Monroe was too hot to handle. <laughs> for all those who need healing and prayer, in Jesus' name, all disease and viruses are destroyed. All bodies are healed from heal head to toe. All families and jobs and businesses restored. All restrictions on worship removed. All churches reopened. All destructive forces stopped in Jesus' name. This I declare in Jesus' name. Amen, Pastor. I mean, oh, Tim, thank you. I don't know if you're uh, ordained, but thank you for your prayer, Tim. It was so hot I burned rubber without spinning my tires. It was so hot the cow laid down and started. Okay, yes, pray for California. First and foremost for our nation. Michael Anthony, thank you for joining us. It's time for prayer requests, so please continue to pray for my parents, for Joey, yeah, for Jay and Linda. Prayer that we will get to visit my aunt. She is in a nursing home turning 95 next week. I pray that they will allow that in a way that's safe for both. All of you guys, it was so hot, Joe. Bye. <laughs> pray for our nation. Okay, next Thursday is the show 100, not this coming Thursday. There's going to be a surprise from President Trump in October about the Democratic... Okay. Father God, I plead the blood of Christ over Naz and Maha as they fly. Devil, they are God's children and you have no power. But thank you, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so hot. Congress, stop talking. Enough. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Prayer request right now. Please give me your prayer request. Uh, what time is it? 9.28. Just quick note, quick encouragement. I, in my quiet time uh, today, it was um, I was thinking, you know, this. Uh, okay, Christianity. You know, Christianity is not natural. It's not a natural thing. You when you look at Christianity. We look at the faith, our Christian faith. The virgin birth is not natural. When they say the first will be last, that's not natural. To be the leader, you have to be the servant of all. That's not natural. You live by dying. When you surrender, when you die to yourself, you'll have a more fulfilled life. That's not natural. Being born again, you know, living your life the way you want, and then, boom, you have an, an experience with Christ, and your life is turned around, and you're born again. That's not natural. Power perfected in weakness. That's not natural. Because we say we're strong. When we're weak, we are strong. That's not natural. Love your enemy. That's not natural. Um, you know, so a lot of things about in Christianity is not natural. That's why God gives us a new nature when we come to him. God gives us a new nature because whatever we believe is not natural. It's a supernatural. It comes when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So you get a new nature. And that's... Whatever you're going through right now, I want you to know, we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against supernatural things. Unnatural, you know, demonic or whatever you call it. Or in, What we're going through is not natural. So in order for us to have hope in pandemic, which is not natural, to have hope in such a time as this, but God 
gives us that supernatural ability. And if we look to him, he's going to be the solution. He's the one who's going to give you hope. Not you talking yourself out of bad news. It's when you trust in him, when you have faith in him, that's when the hope comes in, in this pandemic. And that's not natural. I hope that encourages you. I love you guys. You guys are so funny. You cooled me off today. Remember, we'll see you tomorrow. Wednesday, we're off. Thursday and Friday, our host is John Riscala. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., I have my podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sawyer McKenzie, a high school pastor from Corona, Crossroads Corona, he's going to be talking about what our high schoolers are going through, what they think, what's going on with their life. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. See you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Love you guys. Have a great night. Thank you.